everyone, this is Maria and welcome to my Halloween 2017 haul. And so most of the items in this haul are from the 99 cent only store. I have to say you guys, the 99 cent store is one of my very favorite places to shop. And so although as I've mentioned before in other videos, the 99 cent only store is not only 99 cents anymore. So lately I've noticed everything goes from 99 cents to 7.99, but most items are still 99 cents. So let me go ahead and show you what I got. And also I do want to mention that mostly everything in this video, not everything, but most is for Day of the Dead because that's the theme that I'm going with this year that Joey and I are going with. So let's get started, you guys. So the first thing I'm going to show you is this really cute Halloween trick or treat mat. This is a doormat. Although I think it's really thin, so I probably won't use it for that, but I still will find a special place for this. I just thought it was so cute and so festive. I love those colors, orange and black. The next thing is a skull bath mat, and it was $1.99. This is a sugar skull, and it's made really well, you guys. It's nice and thick and spongy. It's so pretty. It's too pretty to even put on the floor and have anyone step on it. So again, I'll probably find a different place for this. I just really love this. The first time I saw it at a 99 cent store, I decided, well, I won't get it this time because I was already buying a lot. So I went back a couple of days later, I think the very next day, and they were gone, you guys, just gone. And I was so disappointed, and I was looking at all the different 99s. I drove to a lot of them, you guys, and I couldn't find it until my sister and I went on a road trip and I purchased this in Stockton, California, up in Northern California near Sacramento. And I was so happy when I saw it. So let me show you what else I found in this Stockton 99 cent store. They had these really cute pillows, you guys, these Day of the Dead Sugar Skull pillows. I love these. And these were only $4.99 each. I bought two of them and I think they were totally worth it, you guys. They have LED lights, which I just discovered. I didn't even know that when I bought these. So the eyes will light up. It says, hola, and they're so colorful. It's uh, got a black background, you guys. You can see how plump and soft these pillows are, and they're velvety, just so, so pretty. I love these. I'm so glad I bought these. And at our local 99 cent store, they had these really neat Day of the Dead tote bags. These are those reusable bags, you guys. I just really love this. Look at the artwork on these. And so the artwork is on both sides and it has a nice handle and plenty of room to put everything that you buy at the 99 cent store. So here is the second one. And check out this pink one with the skulls and the roses. It's so pretty. And here's another purple one. And I really love this one because the artwork looks a little bit on the vintage side. And then I purchased this Day of the Dead, Dia de los Muertos sign, you guys. And so I plan to put this on a wreath. I think it's going to look really cool. I love all of the colors. And then I purchased all of these silk flowers. I bought 12 stems in all. And each stem comes with all of these different colors of flowers and some of these black leaves and then these strands of ribbons. I just really like these, you guys, and the reason I bought so many is because I'll be decorating with these, and I do plan to use them in my wreath. And then for 99 cents each, I got these glass candle jars. They have the little wicks in here, and they are just so pretty. I just love these, you guys. And these are so cute, you guys. This is the Day of the Dead Solar Girl and the Day of the Dead Solar Boy. And I also found these in Northern California. And then I purchased these really pretty Day of the Dead tins. I found them in four different colors. And so I'm going to go ahead and put one of those flameless candles inside. And I think it would look really pretty. Let me go ahead and show you the others too. Here is the orange one. And here's a green one. And here is one in black. And I also found these at our local 99 cent store, these dress up skeletons. I really love these. Look at the hair on that one. I also purchased several of these Day of the Dead headbands. Look at all of these beautiful flowers and the ribbons hanging there. They're just so pretty. And I thought, you guys, that I could take these apart and use these for crafts also. So I bought two of the same. And then at another store, they had one with a little veil. 
And here's one with the flowers facing forward, and there are no ribbons on this one, but it's very pretty. And this one is a little bit different. You could see the little crown on top, and then it's got this black tool. And it also has a skull in the center here. And that's what I mean, you guys. These are really pretty to wear and fun to wear, but also you can take these apart and use them in your crafts. And then I purchased one of these headbands, you guys. Let me show you the back. It has an elastic band here. And then it's got all of these pretty red flowers and the little skulls in the center. And so I thought this might be one that I take apart. I love those little skulls. And for 99 cents, I also purchased this six foot Day of the Dead paper banner. And I also bought this black lace table runner. It measures 13 inches by 72. And so I really liked it, you guys. I just think it's gonna look so pretty on my table. Also at the 99 cent store, I bought this, you guys. I actually bought three of them. This one is See No Evil, Speak No Evil, and Hear No Evil. And these were only 99 cents each. I also purchased one of these fans. I just think they're so pretty. And so this is not a Halloween item, but I thought it might look really pretty in one of my Day of the Dead displays. Dum, dum, da, dum. Here comes the bride and groom, you guys, and they're leading a parade of Day of the Dead figures that I purchased at the 99 cent store. So here are two fancy ladies, one in pink and one in purple. I love their hats, you guys, and look at the bottom of their dresses. They have that little flounce. And so they wanted to make sure they got here early for the wedding because they want the best seats for the party. And here comes one of the gentlemen and he's very handsome, Moy Wapple. Here come the musicians and this one is strumming on his guitar. And look at this guy, he is so handsome in this light blue suit. And he's strumming on those guitar strings, making everyone happy with his happy music. And here comes the musician with the accordion. And every band needs a horn player. And of course we need the singer, the guy who's going to sing beautiful ballads all night long to the happy couple. Also at the 99 cent store, I couldn't pass up this little mariachi band. These are smaller figures, but I really like the glitter on them. I just thought they were so cool. And look at this happy couple. They must be friends of the bride and groom. And this couple looks like they're ready to have their photograph taken. Say cheese. And this looks like this could be the bride's Thea, the bride's aunt. So I had so much fun finding all of these figures, you guys. I had to go to several different 99 cent stores before I found all of them. And I did end up with a couple of duplicates. And check these out. They are so cute. I just could not resist these. And check out these really cool Halloween skull earrings. I thought they looked more like for Day of the Dead. Look at the little eyes, the little stones in the eyes. I love the way they're set in there. And so I bought these in pink, blue, and red. And so I did buy six pairs because I thought they make really nice gifts. So the next few things I'm going to show you are from Michael's Crafts. Joey bought me this early in the Halloween season. I love this, you guys, these cemetery gates. And then this piece right here with the skeleton horse and the skeleton driving the coach, that was sold separately. And Joey glued that on for me, so hopefully it won't break. Because we noticed there that a lot of these things were getting broken because they're so fragile, like these horses' legs. And so I like that he glued this on. I don't know what kind of glue he used. He said it's a really strong glue, but I really love this. Look at those cemetery gates, you guys. This is just so awesome. I love these bricks showing here. And so let me show you what else I got. So Michaels carries these tiny treasures. They have them in different themes. And so this is the Halloween theme. And you can see this is a woman and she's pushing a baby carriage. I love her old fashioned clothes and the little flowers on her hat. And the day that I purchased her, there was only one left, but I did notice at another Michaels, they had a few more. And so they have a wide variety, you guys. So if you want these, you should really get down there before they're all gone. And I also purchased at Michael's this Day of the Dead house. I just loved all the colors. I love the little sugar skulls at the door. I just thought it was painted beautifully. And I also like the rooftop. Just really, really cute. Now on to Joanne Fabric and Crafts where I purchased these really cute backpack clip kits. So it says Spooky Boutique up here. It's for eight years plus, 
And so it looks like a relatively simple craft. It says one project is a Day of the Dead skeleton. You can see it comes with all the supplies, the little stuffing, the little skeleton is in there. It's made of felt and it has some instructions. And so these were just a few dollars, you guys. I love these little craft sets at Joann's, by the way, you guys. This is the Little Maker's Clothespin Decorating Kit. And so there are monsters in here. You can see the four different little clothespins and their stickers. And there's these cute little monsters. They're just so cute. Comes with easy instructions. It said it includes 20 foam stickers, four wood clothespins. And so I can hardly wait to make these. I did buy three of them, you guys, because I think these would make really cute gifts. So on to Target to the dollar bins, the bullseye area at the front of the store. And so this is a melty creature, a monster melty creature. It says here that this is for ages five and older. It says create your own monster, watch it melt. It includes putty and nine monster pieces. I just thought this was so cute. Looks like so much fun, you guys. I noticed they had three different ones. And you can look at the pictures on the back here. Looks like it's so much fun. Oh, and by the way, I paid $3 for this, you guys. And the last thing I purchased from Target is this Trick or Treat Bowl. I thought this was so cute. I just love this. And so it's ceramic. And so I believe I paid $3 for this also. And so, but anyways, I just really liked it. And I almost forgot to share this, you guys. This is Pumpkin Twine Trim, $4.99. I had a coupon that day at Joann's, but look at this. Look at that orange twine. And it's got all of these wooden jack-o'-lanterns and these wooden beads. It's got black and tan beads. I just love this, you guys. I don't know what I'll use it for yet, but I know I will. And so I have this great big bin full of Halloween stuff, crafty stuff, you guys. And so I will just toss it in there. If I don't use it this year, I'll definitely use it next year or the next. So the next few things I'm going to show you are not Day of the Dead items, but they were also purchased at the 99 cent store. Like these changing portraits. These are so cool. I love these lenticulars. There are four in this package. And you can see his little monster face on the right hand side. Let me see if I get her to change. There she goes. But yeah, these are so cool, you guys. I just love these. There she goes. She looks like a nice lady right here. Now watch her. Whoa, <laughs> I just love these. They are so much fun. And for a dollar, I mean, you could put these in frames. On the back, you can see they have those little stands here. And so you could just stand them up. But I think I'm going to buy some frames at the dollar store, at the 99 cent store. And I think they'll look really neat. And then I couldn't resist this black cat. He looks so vintagey, you guys. I just love him. Look at that tail. And so he looks like a scared cat. And he's thin, you guys. He's not like a full plushie or anything like that. But for 99 cents, I thought he was so cute. And I know I can find the perfect place to put him. Now, this particular item was $1.99. And what I noticed that in some 99 cent stores, they only sold the bird cage for 99 cents. But at most of the other stores, the bird came inside of the cage. And it is marked $1.99. But I just thought it was so cool. And I just had to have this little skeleton bird as a Halloween pet. Just really cute. And then I couldn't resist this black and orange Halloween cat. I love the artwork on the face. It looks very vintage -y, like from the old days when I was growing up. And look at this orange skeleton. I just really love this, you guys. I know I'm going to find the perfect place to hang this in my house. And I know it's going to make me smile every time I look at it. And last but not least, I bought these socks, you guys. They are so cute. And for 99 cents, I just couldn't pass these up. So that's it, you guys. My first haul for Halloween 2017. Thanks for watching, everyone. And I'll talk to you soon. And happy Halloween. Bye-bye.